Okay, okay, are you all okay? After the breakfast hour in the oven, let us see what it looks like. Be careful whilst lifting the foil. There is a lot of steam that is trapped under here, okay? So you do something like this. And you lift. Make sure you're on the same side. Okay. This is what it looks like after the very first hour. Well soft, but if you can see it's setting, you can now remove your foil paper whilst we return it to finish. When we return with that soft top thing, we're gonna next when we return here, we're gonna show you how we prepare it. And then as as soon as inside here gets R the middle and start coming to you see right around here, you're seeing the text of your potato pudding. You see in the top, if you wasn't putting the soft up, you would see what happened. But we are going to do this one with our soft up. But you don't have to do this. So we are going to return to the oven for one more hour. But within that hour, maybe within like 45 or 40 minutes, we will return to put on our soft top. So come. It is time for the soft top or the wetty wetty something. So you're going to melt some margarine. I'm melting half a let's turn down this i'm melting a stick of margarine to the size pudding that i add okay you would do to the size and this is quite optional but i think in the authentic jamaican sweet potato pudding the soft top i'm not sure because a lot of people don't like it but you notice i didn't say authentic you notice i, I never used that word during the whole whole process of the videos because it might just not be authentic because Mr. Lamar put caramel in them and I don't put a caramel in mine. So therefore mine is just Jamaican sweet potato pudding here. So I'm not sure but if it's authentic with the caramel, me na go bad go this one. I'm just doing it without the cornmeal. Caramel pudding, caramel pudding, potato pudding is potato pudding. I'll show you why mine does, I don't use cornmeal. So, wetty wetty something time. Soft top. It's a soft top. And at this point, you will need to melt some butter. I'm using my stove top to melt, okay? And it's okay for you to melt at this point. I'm putting it, now go fall so easy. Now when we cake, you don't play around and to, you know, get the stove all moving because you know it's not good. So I'm gonna melt on a medium heat. Melt the butter, that's how you do it. Because the soft top, it must be glossy. It must be soft. And it must be sweet and that is why if you're making this pudding for for daddy dear it's jamaican it's the father's day we're making it for we did ask the question what should we make for father's day um dessert every jamaican father hey eh, jamaican man them love it and them love it wait wait it's something for the top so if it is that your husband is a jamaican and you're not living in jamaica try it with this he might like it so this soft top must have some melted butter okay i did say to you this mixture that we use this spicy mixture that we use to put the pudding together you want to use it because with the melted butter and this color you will have a sort of like golden color look at it look at what i'm talking about this is the color you need to have turn the heat up a bit butter is still melted and you're going to need to put about a half cup of sugar so i will tell you right back down on the low and it is going to come there and come to like a soft thick like look at it glossy so we are melting the sugar and all of that so we're going to continue to melt it and it's going to come thick it's going to be sweet it's going to be soft it's going to be chilly that's what the soft top is all about okay not my fault see you 30 minutes without the foil we won't be putting back the foil soft top is here some people you put it in like different different batches some people want a lot of it if you want a lot you can do it in batches put some another five minutes put some as soon as they put some more keep away from the hedges don't put it that it fall goes down within there you see it's the bake and it's moving away from the sides 
try to keep the soft top mixture away from the hedges okay you don't want it going down in the sides there when it is supposed to be inverted or when you're supposed to take it out of the pan you're gonna have a problem so spoon it and keep it that it does not run down in along the whoa mine just just did just did that try to be more careful than me please okay keep it away try to keep it away it will pose a lot of problem it has a lot of sugar but mine it was very rude so let us stop there because mine did what it was not supposed to do and mine is running over so let me get it right back into the middle right there getting it round to the side of the pudding that was the worst thing but look here my table is not level do you see that's what happens when your table is not level okay and mine gone all the way around this side so look like we have to go work with it Ooh, it's not supposed to go around the sides but we work i guess we live we live my table is not level that's a problem but try to keep yours away from the side my table is not level okay that is over so this is going to go in the oven when the heat takes it it is gonna come soft mushy like okay so what you can do with the additional as soon as this set you put that on it. now we are going back into the oven for another 25 minutes 25 to 30 minutes because we have 21 there and we are we were out a few minutes so let us very carefully go right back into the oven mine went around the sides but try not to let yours go around to the side okay y'all and this is the glossiness that it is gonna have kill it give them a shot to my girl as it goes in there onto the heat it is gonna become soft and it is gonna become like thick and it's gonna form a soft thick top so the next time you see us soft top go farm and everything and our pudding should be ready okay now family we are out of the oven and let me show you what i'm talking about you see the glossiness at the top of it and you see how wet it is some people even go more a lot more some people go the soft top and it's really hot this is how you have it okay especially in the middle here you see how soft it is to the touch when i touch it that is what we call the soft top it must be glossy and it must be soft so three hours time before we can ever touch this to get a proper slice so when you see me three hours time i swear to god i will not be in this outfit i've got to change okay so we're leaving it on the wire rack and we're leaving it to cool this probably for this to cool this is like an overnight a properly cool but three hours time three hours time yes i would think so you can come to try to get a slice out we will test we're going to show the text of the slicing and i guess we have a taste of the other this minute must have a taste so we are going to leave it there whilst it cools and all of that so the wetty wetty part of it if you see a shape look at it it's sort of like a jello if i put more some people they would put more as soon as they set they put more because some people like it a whole lot my family doesn't like it a whole lot so i don't put a lot but if your family likes it as i tell you as soon as it, it's in the oven it's like a little you put a little more it's a lot of you know that's a lot of work to get that old heaper high you know some people like a lot of it but my family doesn't like it so i will do it like that so this is like basically about like one one you know this one time i put it so we're gonna leave it there the top is soft it moist in a dry and all of that three hours time and you see me i'm in a different outfit okay now family all cooled but guess what we bad broke we have to take out some before we had, we had a quarter of it before so now we took out we put what part did it into it's not stuck or anything and all of that it's not properly cooled though you know but you don't know it go but i'm sure so we have all this here and this is what the finished product is like that's a, the, the texture of it so let me show you it's not cool do you want to slice use a clean slice knife 
to slice it's not properly cooled so this is the texture of your pudding this is what you, the texture of your pudding is gonna be like it's gonna be like a melt in your mouth as soon as you're heating it is gonna melt let me taste for you I tasted already though but let me taste for you this it just melts in your mouth there is no taste of potato no trash from any ginger nothing it's just it's just when i say taste of the potato no trash or anything it just smooth it's just smooth 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 that's the texture you get when you grate the potato and then you blend it it is a lot of work i know it's a lot but it is a finished product that we're talking about so if you have liked this video mm -hmm, please give it a thumbs up yes when you do come to my channel please remember to subscribe thank you so much when you do subscribe remember to hit that notification bell this is a long anticipated video that you have all been waiting for okay you all so remember again like share subscribe and remember to leave your comments below in a principal and decent manner this is my um debit on yard melt in your mouth potato pudding no corn meal so once more please enjoy debbie from Donga yard bless no stress i'm so tired but that's how it goes it's a hard work hard work to get it like this